Silakan Pak. Selamat siang Pak Paul, silakan. Selamat siang Pak Yongki. Ya. Uh, kamar sudah bisa dibuka untuk umum. Oke. Okay. Dan Pak Lagu bisa masuk dan para peserta yang lain juga dipersilakan masuk. Terima kasih Pak Yongki. Terima kasih Pak. Selamat siang Pak Ardana, moderator Selamat saya siang. yang hari ini. Pak Wagur, Pak Joko, hmm. Pak Yongki. Selamat siang Pak. Dari Pak Thailand juga teman-teman dari Thailand sudah ada yang masuk Pak? Oh ya, waduh terima kasih banyak. Kita masih menunggu kehadiran Pak Wagub. Hari ini yang terdaftar berapa banyak semua, Pak? Eh, cukup lumayan banyak, Pak. Eh, tapi karena memang eh, kemudian kita buka untuk umum, eh, jadi eh, tidak tercatat. Eh, Niki, welcome Niki, Vito Thailand. Hai, good afternoon everyone. Hai, good afternoon. Just to call you Nikki? Yes, that's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ka. <laughs> How is everything there? So, um, are you in Jakarta or in which part of Indonesia? Oh, uh, separated. Ah, we, I see. We are actually spreading all over Indonesia. Okay. <laughs> I myself in Bali and your friend, Mr. Adana, is, is in also Bali. in Bali. Okay. And I have my uh, other colleagues are uh, in Jakarta. Mm. Yeah, and some from Bandung. Oh, from I Salonata, love Bandung. Jakarta. And also from and, Kalimantan. Uh, wow, you are from different part of Indonesia. That's so great. Yeah, from different province. Yeah, I love Bandung so much. We brought a um, media group like bloggers last time, around 10 bloggers, went to Bandung. It was so amazing because we we never know like the Bandung weather is very cool, not that hot, and you have like craters, you have um, plantation, you have the street art and everything. So cool. Is that cooler than uh, Chiang Mai? Well, almost the same, <clears throat> but you know Chiang Mai has just only like culture and some nature. But you have like different things, like very good combination in Bandung. It's very cool. And Nikki, do you know that the, His Excellency King Rama V and King Rama VII had been visited Bandung in 1896 and 1901? Yeah, yeah we, in the brought, um, we brought a group to Daha Pati. It's a restaurant where our prince and princess were exiled. I mean, were living that time, correct? In oh, the, it was in, in 18, nine, uh, not, not 19, 18, yes. Uh -huh. Rama 5 and Rama 7. Yeah, Rama 5, yeah. yeah. We visit, and thank uh, you for the, uh, the white elephant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was placed in Jakarta today <clears throat> at the mm. museum, National Museum. Yeah. We call it white elephant. And we, last time we passed by the, um, a place or an area in Jakarta where it was the hotel that our King Rama the fifth stay. Not oh. sure like what is the name of the, the hotel or area. But yeah, we have a very good relationship with each other. And Nikki, we are still waiting for the vice governor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Papa Group sudah hadir, Pak. Oh, sudah, sudah. ya? 
sudah hadir tapi belum belum datang masih sudah hadir pak sudah oh sudah hadir. ya sudah hadir oke okay. om swastiastu om swastiastu pak iya yeah, pak iya yeah. dari kemarin di sini <laughs> so uh, miss nikki and all friends uh, his excellency vice governor of bali he's now with us ah yes sadika selamat siang selamat siang Bu Nikki. Nice to meet you. I'm the I'm Nikki. I'm the Vito from Thailand and Indochina. You are based in Chiang Mai or in Bangkok? In Bangkok actually. Ah, I see. Kita mulai Pak Yongki. Mari Pak silakan. Okay, uh good afternoon. His Excellency, Your Excellency uh the Vice Governor of Bali. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Nikki of Tito, Thailand. Mr. Peu Pinhop and Miss Musa. Are you there? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, all my colleagues. We are now today is actually to have uh, and to talk about the prospect of market, Thailand market. So I would like to welcome all of you to be with us. Especially, I would like to welcome uh, Bapak Wakil Gubernur Bali, who is willing to be with us this afternoon and will give his uh, keynote speak. So please, Pa, your time. Thank you. Silakan, Bapa. Thank you, Pak Paul. Pak Tertardano, you are here. Hai Pak ya, Pak Gub langsung apa saya? Ya silakan Pak Dana. Pak Pak Gub langsung. Oke. Mungkin tiang dulu Pak Pak Gub. Dari Saris Pak Tuh, dari Saris. Nawadika, selamat siang, selamat sore, and good afternoon to all of you. And first of all, Your Excellency the Vice Governor of Bali, Bapak Chacho, and then uh, um, Kuniki, so I think I better call you Kuniki. Is that okay? Yeah, Kuniki, you are representing Indonesia, the uh, Ministry of Tourism of the Republic of Indonesia, Kuniki, as Hito. And at this stage, um, uh, later you would like you uh, to talk more uh, about the media from the side of uh, media. And then uh, also, I would like to greet and welcome um, Mr. Just a minute, the the president of TTAA, Thailand Travel Agent Association, Mr. Suti Pong Kun Pimpok. If I may call you Kun Suti Pong, is that okay? Are you already in the in the room? Ready. Okay. And then I would like also to greet and welcome Miss Kuamas uh, Muso. Uh, I know her very well. And if, if it's okay, I call you Kuntai. So, okay, okay, right, Kuntai. Swadika. Yes. Uh, I'm here. Okay. And then I also would like to greet uh, all my college um, at uh, Intoa. Intua is the Indonesia Inbound Tour Operator Association. So we are coming from uh, almost all over Indonesia. We are gathering in this uh, association for inbounders. So uh, these uh, tour operators are uh, in charge to bring uh, tourists from, from uh, everywhere, from all over the world, and of course, of course including uh, Thailand. So I would like to thank you very much to all of you for joining this uh, uh, online uh, seminar. It's very important for us uh, to hear from all of you. Uh, it's a pandemic because we are all in difficulty in facing this situation for already nearly uh, over five months. But of course, we don't want to uh, have this uh, situation or condition continuing. I would like to, to to, to, to start or to begin for tourism again worldwide, of course, Indonesia and Thailand are also expecting for that. Yeah, so uh, uh, 
Uh, we are imparting the uh, uh, people party to deliver the, the speech uh, this, this stage, as I already mentioned to you now. So everyone who joining this online seminar would like to hear from you, from the president of PTA, from you, uh, Nikki, and uh, also Kun Thai. Uh, how is the situation in uh, Thailand and how potential is uh, Thai market for mm, the future okay. of Indonesian market? So when we talk about Indonesia, it's not only Bali, but we also have uh, other uh, very beautiful destinations on, in the country. We have uh, Lombok, we have Yogyakarta, we have uh, mm. Komodo, we have Sumatra, we have Kalimantan. So we would like to hear from you. Uh, will the future uh, for Thai people uh, still only Bali is popular or perhaps you probably will also try to promote uh, other destination because they are also very, very interesting, very uh, beautiful. Okay, so I think uh, uh, to make it uh, uh, begin this uh, online seminar, I would like to give the, the chance, the opportunity to our uh, vice uh, governor, Bapak uh, Cho Acha. Time is yours, Pak pa Wagup. Thank you. Thank you, Pak Ardana. Honorable Chairman of Indonesia in Bontos Operator Association, Bapak Paul and the Mudus Telo, Honorable Speakers, Ladies and Gentlemen, Om Swastiastu, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, good afternoon to us all. It is an honor for me to attend this webinar and to meet with you all virtually. In this short remarks, I would like to give some review of the current development in Bali regarding our readiness in facing the new normal. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, COVID-19 pandemic has been spreading throughout all over the world. Almost there is no country which is free from this virus. Bali is also not exception. Bali sustained its status with zero positive case until March 4. Since then, positive cases in Bali have been increasing. Today, it's reached 3,644 cases. Our recovery rate today is 86.94%. The death rate in Bali is also very low, which is only 1.32%. If we look at the graphs, we can see that it is still moving upward. However, Bali as the world's class tourism destination has relatively lower cases compared to other regions in Indonesia. Even better, recently, the number of recovered patients in Bali is very high. I hope Bali can flat the curve soon and our life will get better. The success story of Bali has been supported by the characters of Balinese. Balinese believe in the concept of duality existence called Rua Bineda. The concepts tell a story, a story that everything is in this world always existed in couples, black and white, good and equal and etc. Both dualities will always try its best to maintain the balance and the harmony taught the law of universe. The concept is similar with Chinese in and yang. With social characters helps Balinese to successfully cope this pandemic. We believe this pandemic will be over eventually. The pandemic is the way how nature balance the harmony. Balinese has been doing relentless efforts supported by all stakeholders, including the local people, to tackle the, to tackle the pandemic. This is done both scholar or physically and in scholar spiritually. In this scholar manners, Balinese do religion ceremonies and rituals for keeping Bali safe during COVID-19 pandemic. These ceremonies were 
done as a form of apology to the God and nature for our green and fault, greed and fault, and also to pray for the better condition in Bali. The values of Balinese cultures and philosophy lives throughout the heart of the peoples. It maintains the holistic healing powers of the, pre, of the paradise island for millennials. In scale, Bali has been doing its best to cut the spreading of COVID-19 as well as to improve the recovery rate. This is done throughout the support of all stakeholders from the government's <laughs> private to social level. All efforts to craft the virus divided into three aspects regulation, human resources, and health facilities. In the, in the regulation aspect, the government of Bali province has been enacted a new normal protocols to be implemented in 14 crucial sectors related to public service, business and commerce, and transportation. Trots this protocol, Bali has been doing strict measures to ensure that the safety of the islands the government of Bali province also conduct a strict screening at all entrance of Bali Island. One example of this is in acquirement for international island travel coming to Bali. All international passengers need to show a negative result of PCR or swab test as a proof of their health condition barriers to enter Bali. Bali also makes a mandatory for flight passengers to fill health alerts card or its AC. The cards contain information to passengers regarding the current public health condition in Bali and the emergency context if they need any assistance. Its AC also greatly help Indonesian government in improving its outbreaks, traceability and monitoring performance. In support, for the mitigation efforts during the pandemic times, Bali prepares 18 designated hospitals, all of our Bali capable in treating COVID-19 patients. These hospitals are also equipped with isolation room in accordance with the health standard. In addition, Bali also prepares seven special laboratories equipped with 12 PCR testing instrument capable to conduct 2,070 tests per day. In private sector, all tourism business, except as hotel, restaurant, villa, tourist attraction, and etc., is preparing its best for the new normal and when Bali is open again for international tourists. We have established a verification team to check and monitor the implementation of health protocol at its business in the highest standards. In addition, Bali also established Gotong Royong, which means working together task force. This special task force was the first in Indonesia which involved customary village in Bali. This is a great example of good synergy between local community and the government mm -hmm. in an effort to cut off the spreading of the virus by utilizing local wisdom. This village as its own guardians called Pechalang to help monitoring the movement of people in and out of village. <clears throat> they also help maintaining the disciplines among villagers in following health protocols, such as wearing masks when going out and practicing physical distancing. Ladies and gentlemen, the paradise, the paradise island of Bali has continued to improve its resilience in, special, in spiritual way with the Balinese holistic powers, as well as the physical with the good capacity of medical facilities and the implementation of health protocol. This is done in hope that Bali will be able to quickly get the opportunity to be a leading tourism destination once in time has arrived for it open again. Such opportunity can be obtained as long as we can give guarantee to the visiting tourists that they will be safe from the risk of getting infected with COVID-19 during their time in Bali. This is where we decided 
to reopen Bali instead and throw a strict monitoring in order to revive the economy. Bali has started to allow local people to travel since 9 of July. Health protocols is of course of monetary for travels. And then Bali also started to allow domestic tourists to come to Bali since July 31st. They are free to, to travel to Bali, but we recommend them to stay in the very village hotels and attraction for their safety. Hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, I wish we can see Bali to reopen for international tourism in September 11th. This depends on the policy of national level and the current condition in Bali. Honorable speakers and participants, I really want to be with you until the end of this webinar. But unfortunately, I must attend another meeting that I cannot delegate. So for that reason, my representative will be staying with you and, and answering all your questions for the rest of the webinars. I probably introduce Ms. Ida Ayu Ida. She is the head of Destination Marketing Division in Tourism Office of Bali Province. Ibu Dayu Indah has been working re really hard during the pandemic with me and especially in developing tourism strategy during this trying time. Thank you for your kind understanding. I hope the webinar today will attract more interesting discussion. Lastly, I also wish that we can improve the tourism cooperation between Thailand and Bali, as well as addressing more Thai people to visit us again in Bali. Because actually Thailand and Bali has similar, has a very similar cultures. So thank you very much and Om Santi 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 Om. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam, Waalaikumsalam. Terima kasih banyak Pak Cuaca. Thank you so much for all your explanation. That was great. So you explained very well about the island of Bali. So uh, all speakers and ladies and gentlemen, the participants, uh, the Vice Governor of Bali already explained that Bali has been a long time as a world tourist destination, uh, which is famous for culture and all the religious activities. And that now, uh, to welcome the new normal, Bali is also ready uh, with all the uh, health protocol as uh, already very clearly explained by the uh, vice governor. I'm not going to conclude what um, uh, he was trying to explain, but uh, Bali is ready to, to begin or to, uh, to welcome uh, international uh, tourist, tourism uh, starting from 11 September. So, of course, uh, among the ASEAN countries, uh, we all would like that we can work together and helping each other and we can move on. Thailand sending people, tourists to Indonesia and Indonesia also selling, uh, sending uh, uh, tourists to Thailand and other uh, countries in, uh, in, in the ASEAN countries, of course. So, um, <clears throat> now I would like to move on to the second speaker. To the second speaker is uh, Kuniki. Kuniki from uh, Quito. As you are representing the uh, the Ministry of Tourism of the Republic of Indonesia, so I believe that uh, you you know many places in uh, Indonesia. So I believe that you can give uh, lots of comment also about this destination, and then uh, I hope that you also can uh, give some. Uh, good what is that uh, ideas to, to help and to support all our uh, inbounders or our inbounders uh, all our inbound tour operators in Indonesia uh, so that our tourism in Indonesia can uh, move on and can develop better and we can receive more uh, uh, Thai uh, people as tourists to Indonesia not only Bali but also the surrounding of Indonesia as all as as, as well as uh, tourists from other part of uh, Thailand, from Indochina, yeah, because you are representing Thailand and Indochina. <coughs> Thank you very much, and the time is yours, Kuniki. Thank you. All right, so first of all, Selamat Siang and Sawadee Ka to all honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, first of all, let me share my slide first. Okay, I should. Is that okay, Koniki? Is that correct? Um, yes, but can I share my own slide? Can you keep the control to, to me so I can yes, share yes. my slide on my Yes, on we my can screen. control. No, no, I mean like just authorize like my screen to share myself. Oh, you want to, you so you want want to do it yourself? To okay. share myself, yes. All right. So no when I problem. talk, I can click, I can change easily. Okay, right? good. No problem. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Now you are uh, available right. for CSP. So now, so I hope that everyone could see my presentation now. Yes. All right. So again, first of all, um, thank you very much for the Indonesian Inbound Tour Operator Association from Indonesia who invited me to be the speaker today. I'm so happy to see you all. And hopefully that we could know more something about the prospect and potential for the Thailand market as the topic of the subject today. My name is Nikki Pinya Pincha. Um, I represent the Visit Indonesia Tourism Officer or VITO for Thailand and Myanmar, Vietnam, that we call Thailand and Indochina market. So we are representing these um, three countries at the beginning, but we mainly based in Thailand first. So let's see about what I'm going to give my talk today. I have just four agendas, which would be very quickly in 15 minutes. And after that, I think we should have a Q and A session together. So we can start with you first about the COVID-19 situation update in Thailand. Second, we follow by the Thai outbound tourism market insight. And next, we're gonna see the future trends of Thai traveler. And also what we could recommend for Indonesian inbound tour operators. So let's see, at the beginning of the, um, the pandemic that has been spread over around the world until now, for Thailand, as of August 6th, we have the confirmed case around like 3,330, but we recover already 3,148. But the good news is that in Thailand, we have no local transmission for the pandemic for 74 days. But by the way, if you see from the news or if you know the people in Thailand, when we go in the public spaces, we still need to wear the face mask and there are some temperature screening or you know, alcohol gel for watching your hand for the sand, uh, hand sanitizer using every public transportation. So in Thailand, we quite implement the um, protocol of the clean and healthy and safety very, very, very well and very strict in every almost of the country. So now in Thailand, we come into the phase number five that the emergency decree is extended until the end of this month. So what does it mean for the phase five? So now people come back or resume to their normal life in shopping malls and convention exhibition facilities, resume for normal operation. Uh, until no later than 10 p.m. And pubs and bars and karaoke and bars and everything can open until midnight, but promotional activity are still prohibited. For a game, internet cafe can resume for normal operation, but service are still limited at a specific hours. But sauna, massage, establishment can return to normal operation, but this would be um, specified by the law which we need to, to um, follow the government rules very, very strictly. And next one, Thailand has been dropping the three phases for the real. We have state quarantine measures, like if the people come back from the overseas countries, they still need to be quarantined at the state um, place around like 14 days. And we have three, Group of the tourists from overseas that are allowed at the first phase where we're gonna have the reopening of the country. So the phase one, we allow the business traveler, investor, skilled workers, or people with a Thai family member that living in overseas 
and they would like to come back into the country. And phase two, we have the medical tourism travelers who want to come to check up and everything. And phase number three, of course, we expect the general tourists from internationally to come to our country again. But well, because of, as of today, we have heard the news that the situation around the world is still, you know, on the, um, on the increasing number, uh, maybe second wave or third or something. So we still need to delay our plan to reopen in the country. But by the way, as you may have heard, the Thailand ranked number one on the global COVID-19 recovery index. So come to the second topic of my talk. So come to the outbound tourism um, insight. So actually the total population of Thailand, we have around like 69 million people. And we can see that Thai people, they go overseas around like, you know, five to 10% of the total population. We can see the increasing number of every year. Um, from 2019, Last year, we estimate around like 10 million people, Thai people go overseas. But well, because of um, the pandemic, this one can um, reduce the number a lot. That we're gonna talk later. But in general, what you can see about Thai about tourist profile. So for around like 10 million people that go overseas, they go to ASEAN, 3.6 million. Apart from that, they go to Europe, Middle East. And normally they go out for the leisure, followed by business, and the age of the people that go is around like 25 to 34 years old. And male travelers uh, have more proportion rather than female. And this on the right hand of the table, you can see the um, type of the spending of Thai people when they go overseas. Of course, first they focus on, they pay more on the accommodation, food and beverage, shopping, sightseeing, and entertainment. And we could spend um, estimation number of the day that you could spend in Indonesia is around five days. But I would say honestly that we need to spend around one or two days for flying to Indonesia or back in some destination, not like Bali or Jakarta that have more frequent flights. But if you wanna go to Yogyakarta, you wanna go to you know, um, Central Java, we need to take that day more. And but top five outbound destination for Thai people, number first would be Japan. Second and third is Laos and Malaysia because of the border attachment. They could um, travel across the border. Fourth is South Korea and then Vietnam. But don't worry, Indonesia are still among the top 12 of the top destination that Thai would visit every year. So this is the number of departure of Thai outbound tourists. So you can see the increasing number like five to 8% every year. And normally they go out with as a non-package tour. So it means FIT play more majority of the Thai tourists going out. And for the last latest number of statistics, January to May of this year, of course, we can see that the number decreased like 65% of the Thai tourists to go to Indonesia. But well, let's come. Top five, what are the top five Indonesian cities that Thais prefer? First, Bali, of course, is number, five, um, number one because of the popularity and also the more frequent of the flight. Second, Jakarta, of course. Third, Surabaya. And fourth, Batan Bintam. And fifth is the Medan because of the flight that we have. And it is because of the numbers that we we record year by year from the 2014 until the last year. So actually, I just want to share with you about what are the six selected traveler groups of Thai and how we could create and could recommend the destination in Indonesia to match with the style or the character of these six traveler groups from Thailand. So Thai people, we can categorize into um, six groups. First, family oriented that are very traditional. So we would recommend to go to Yogyakarta, to go to Bali, um, to go to see the temple and everything. And second, the blue collar. So the one that are like strikers, like employees, regular farmers, merchants, we would recommend them to go to you know, Yogyakarta. Third, for family oriented that 
who make the travel with family with normally, we recommend you to go, of course, Bali, Yogyakarta still. And number four, white collar, who are the one that own them, you know, um, officers, entrepreneurs, and salary men who look for the self rewards. So, and, fig, and six, uh, sorry, and number five, six major hunters, the one that won the discovery and also millennium as a number six of the group. So we recommend all the destinations that are still unseen, new, and, you know, very, very memorable. And also like the experience that they have never expect that wow in Indonesia they also have like last time we tried to recommend Bandung as I mentioned earlier is Jawa, Laban Bajo, Lombok, Sumba Island, Sulawesi. I think these are very potential destination that we could recommend it to Thai according to the character and their preference. So let's see what is the market expectation and trend. As you may know that the um, Thai tourists after the COVID, of course, the first factor that makes the decision to go to travel is about the cleanliness and safety. Um, second, about pricing. Of course, you need to have a very, very, you know, pricing strategy, attractive package. Let's say that after COVID-19 promotion package, I think we could um, launch This is so specific, decided for the, for the tourists of this group after the COVID-19. Flexibility, of course, as you may know that the situation are still like, you know, unsure and we can, unpredictable, let's say. So I think if you could keep the condition or flexibility of availability or extension of the booking condition, I think this could be another benefit that you could see. And last one, as I mentioned earlier, unseen location. Like Thai people now, they love to get something unseen because as you know, Thailand has a lot of variety. But what Indonesia could offer, like, you know, I'm sure you have a lot like Momo, Kawaijian, Brinjani, and other destinations apart from Bali, as I mentioned earlier, Bandung, Yogyakarta, and other things that you could see. And we had the survey from the Tourism Thailand that they just launched um, about the opinion of the Thai tourists. This is just a lot of only group sampling. For domestic trip, around like 49% of Thai, they would definitely take a trip to domestic one and 13% probably do so. For the, um, for the livelihood to plan to travel abroad or overseas, you know, after COVID-19, just only feel like 7% of Thai would definitely take a foreign overseas trip and 25% they probably do so. But I still would recommend that you need still to see the opportunity of that 70% of people because I'm sure we are like, you know, stuck at home, travel domestically, but I think people, they always need to travel overseas to see some different culture, to get out of what they get used to. So don't lose the hope, we still get the chance and get the opportunity. So what we would recommend for Indonesian inbound tour operator to enter to the market. First, we recommend you to partner with a local partner. Like today we have the DTAA, our Thai Travel Agent Association. Um, we have two operators, partner, local tour operator, I mean Thai tour operator. We have allies, we have bank, we have PR agency. And I think this, we could find a local partner who knows the market and help you to, you know, enter the market very well. You can participate in e-trade show, local B2B and B2C event. So if I have any news about a B2B event, I could let you know as well. And I think now the Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy of Indonesia, we are still planning for the B2B section too to link your Indonesian to operators with the Thai local operators. And next, after the COVID, of course, we still need to push a lot of budget and investment to organize a pantry for media and influencers and local agents. Last time I mentioned, I brought the bloggers to go to Jakarta, Bandung. And you know, now Bandung was in the social media a lot because of these group of the people have influence in terms of you know, new experience and new destination in Indonesia. 
and you can see as well like once we come back we all do do the promotion like you know next new definition like Romo um, you know Kawaiijian Yogyakarta Solo Samarang food everything that I think is a new for the Thai market and next you would invest in digital marketing as well like Vito Thailand we have created a Facebook page Thai language what they call Go Indo so we're gonna see um, how this could be um, help us to build a community of the Indonesia fan club so we would have a group of the people who love who are so addicted with Indonesia so we try to build up this community to help them to communicate with them during even the crisis of thought for the future when we could travel so we try to promote in you know in social media and online media as well like last time you could see we went to Pekanbaru it's a very new destination. The um, Pekanbaru governor or, or the Riau province, they organized this trip and we brought them they are there. And once they come back, they put in the news. It's more than like, you know, 30,000 people share and read our article. So apart from that, we also try to come up with um, activities. We did organize a live to promote, you know, because people, I think they, they miss the day that they experience the destination. So we use food as our ambassador to link with them. So we did live, like food show, eating, and then we, these two is a uh, blockers that we invite them to come to, to share the memorable trip of Indonesia and we eat Indonesian food to make people like, you know, um, thinking and reminding people about Indonesia. Apart from that, I see a lot of other um, countries now, they invest in also producing PR material or promotional materials in Thai language. They have THT, um, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, they put in different theme and different, you know, material according to the preference and the style of the Thai tourists. I think Indonesia could do the same. And apart from that, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, top activity that you could draw the Thai tourist attention Shopping, sightseeing, cultural, soft adventure, and niche activity like scuba diving and surfing. So example, this is what um, Thai people love to do. Like, you know, especially the millennials, they go for scuba diving, they organize a trip to surfing school in Bali, many, many things that you could do. And you see, what are the local travel agency in Thailand currently selling? They sell, of course, Borobudo, they sell Romo Kawaiijian, there's so many, many things that are new for the Thai. So I think when there is an opportunity in every crisis, I think it would be great if all of you can be first critical. You know, when there is a problem, don't complain. We try to look at the problem and analyze the, uh, analyze the situation, what we could do and what we could do better in order to survive during this situation. Second, we can do the creative. For the be creative, you know, you don't need to be create something new, but you try to find a solution that helps solve the problem of the current situation. For example, like I can see that Thai tour operators now, they cannot sell the um, overseas trip, like cannot see, cannot sell the Thai people to go overseas. So what they do, they come back to um, work it out, to promote and to sell the domestic destination. I think you need to come back to review your business model in order to survive in this situation. I know it's quite challenging, but I'm sure if you could be critical, creative and conceptual, you could be surviving. Conceptual, I mean, it's like when you see the whole industry and pictures of the situation, you can see yourself which position you are in and which way you could do it better to be part of surviving. I think it's quite take time to, you know, to review the business model, but you need to do something from now and you're gonna see the trend, how trend is um, going to be changed because things have not be the same anymore. So I hope that we could still like survive together and I hope that if anything that I could help and if you need any other information, just let me know. I will be your contact point I know the local partners and I could help link you. And if you need information about the market, 
I could do the contact work for you. So last one, ขอบคุณค่ะ and ตรีมากาซี So if you have any information, you can um, tap screen on my contact, email me, um, follow our Facebook. Um, yeah, and I hope that people could still survive together, and we are in this together, and we hope that people would travel again tomorrow. And I'm sure that Indonesia could be one of their preferred destination very soon. Thank you so much. Kapun ka. Thank you so much for all your explanation uh, as a uh, Fito. So, um, Thailand has 69 million people. That's a big number. Big number. Yeah. So, that means it is very, very potential for the destinations of uh, Indonesia. But uh, our record, Kuniki, um, especially for Bali, we, our record uh, says that so far, we have only 137,000 visitors in 2019. So it's very small. It means that uh, being Fito, besides us here as inbounders, you also need to work uh, more harder, I think, in the future <laughs> to increase the uh, number to Bali and to Indonesia. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. yeah. You, you, you need to consider like just 59 million it doesn't mean that all of them go out. Only around like, you know, eight to 10 million people go overseas. And not only Indonesian, they have a lot, a lot of destination. So yeah. I think a lot of destination now, they are really, really working out at the destination, the new yeah. experience, yeah, that yeah. they can work. Yeah, you already mentioned that uh, the outbound of uh, Thai people in yeah. 2018 is over 9 million. And then uh, it's expected to increase in 2019 will become 10 million uh, offer. So yeah. with this increase, we are hoping that uh, in, in, in Indonesia also get the share more, <laughs> Bali and other places, because yeah. you already mentioned that Bali are very interesting, not only Bali. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, Number one, yeah. You have mentioned Medan, Riau, Jakarta, Surabaya, yeah. Bandung, and then uh, 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 Labuan Bajo, Komodo. Yeah. Uh, and, and many others actually, which are very, very uh, interesting. Potential. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, very important thing that uh, you also mentioned uh, for our uh, inbound players here in Indonesia, very important because of entering the, this new normal. So the health protocols like the cleanliness and health and safety is very important. And yes. also flexibility. Uh, you yeah. That. <laughs> and then you also mentioning uh, price, but uh, I think price in business is, uh, you know, uh, everywhere, yeah, we do, we try to be as competitive as, uh, as possible, as interesting as possible. And very important also unseen uh, location, un unseen uh, places. Yeah, so uh, with this new normal, probably we have to uh, create our new packages which are maybe uh, different from what we have uh, before. Yes. Yeah? So the, 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 the visitors, the travelers, they will be looking for what I just mentioned recently, uh, looking for safety, health, and uh, fitness. And I think the key, the last you mentioned that our inbounders, uh, players in Indonesia, they need to be very critical and creative in order to survive with our uh, businesses in tourism in the future. So yeah. I think all the participants have already noted all this. And let us give a big clap, a big hand to Kudniki. Oh. <laughs> so um, now I would like to uh, step forward and we would like to give the opportunity uh, to, to uh, Kun Sutipong. Kun Sutipong is uh, the president of uh, TTAA, Thailand uh, Travel Agent Association. Uh, I heard that uh, Kun Sutipong is only recently uh, 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 appointed or, or elected as the president of uh, TTAA, if I'm not mistaken, the, on the 29th of July. So I would like to congratulate to Kun Sutipong for being the president of uh, TTAA in Thailand. 
So uh, I think our uh, participants that join in today are very happy, yeah, uh, with you. And of course, they would like also to 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 to, to listen to get uh, information about the conditions of uh, Thai outbound, etc., etc. So, Kun uh, Chitipong, the time is yours. Thank you. Kapun Kap. Thank you very much, you know, uh, the, the chairman. Um, would like to uh, uh, suggest, you know, and uh, do myself just for a while. Uh, first of all, I'd be um, person of uh, TJ six years ago, and then after that, I stepped out. And then just a few days ago, I um, returned back again according to uh, whatever that uh, virus, coronavirus again, to make uh, all the industry, especially for tourism, just very weak. So I think at this moment, any president of any association, you know, alpha inbound domestic, doesn't matter. It's, it's very worst time to run the association. By the way, I want to say thank you to Kudiki first because all information that uh, Kudiki prepared is, is quite uh, uh, more detailed like I uh, prepared because uh, I just pick up the, you know, to order for the job a few days ago. So I have that's all. So, uh, I, I don't have so much time to well prepare. But anyhow, I would like to give you for a general information for a TTA. And uh, I got some questions from uh, 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 your size to ask me about the situation and the problem and the many things that uh, uh, we're supposed to uh, conclude for you. So could I start for a run for the, uh, uh, the PowerPoint, please? Happy? Uh, can you? So we we need to get uh, your permission. Uh, you want to present yourself or let our secretary? Yeah, that's right. That's right. okay. It's coming. It's okay. It's coming already. Okay, that's uh, so okay. So uh, okay, just start. Yeah, right now. Uh, okay. Oh, so can you say that this is a, uh, could I introduce myself again? This one, this uh, t-shirt, I got it. Could I just give a little bit idea for TTA? TTA, this association, we are started since uh, 30, uh, 30, 36 years ago. But uh, the fact, you know, is supposed to be 1978, but that time it's like a club for a ticketing agent and uh, the agent who run the business for how about? And then after six years later, we turn to the association, you know, and then we run mean to be the association around 36 years already. And the second one, please. Uh, next one, please. And the next one, uh, can you run? Okay, this is a statistic, you know, I would like to just say that it's quite similar, like uh, Kuniki mentioned, you know, I've been paying only for three years for a uh, Thai travel to Indonesia. I would like to confess to you one thing, I've been in Indonesia several times, several times, even though last year uh, and a couple years ago, is, uh, last year I think I had a big function for Rotary. I'm the one who handled Rotary of 100 people to Indonesia, to Yogyakarta. And the figure for uh, Thai tourists, you know, I think you can see the graph. We compare for three years, 2017, 18, and 19. And the, the figure is the same like uh, Kun Nikki mentioned, so I'm not in detail. But I want to say that, you know, every year we try to keep pushing, especially since when I be the president six years ago. And now I will try to make it harder to push the market back to Indonesia because one thing that we have relay between our loyal family kings, Brahma uh, V, Brahma Seven, and I've been several times to Bandung to bring Thai people to, you know, visit, you know. Okay, next one, please. 
next one try next one please uh, i need to see the picture from indonesia travel to thailand back page please i don't know who's a control yeah can you next one please uh, excuse me one moment please yeah. Happy, happy to next page, bisa nggak? And, and next please. <laughs> I don't know control. I try to control from this side, but I can't. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, this is a Thai travel to Indonesia, but I, uh, I need to just show you for Indonesia travel to Thailand. Uh, can, can. Oh, this is a pass already, it's all right. Is this one okay. correct? Okay, this one, this one. Just, just, just give me a for why. Okay. This is Indonesia travel to Thailand. Uh, we compare for around for 40 years, you know, so 2017 until 2020. I want to say thank you, you know, because uh, every year the feature for uh, Indonesian tourists, you know, come to Thailand more and more. But on the other hand, you know, I got a request from the Vita, uh, uh, even though uh, from the uh, embassy that how we keep pushing Thai, Thai people to do this year. Just back around five and six, seven years, you know, the top 10 destination of five, uh, uh, three, three top of a destination for Thai tourists to it is it's always be Bali. And maybe a uh, same like Nikki mentioned, but five, six years ago, we can we try to keep pushing uh, to the other city, just like uh, Yogya, uh, just like uh, Semelang, just like uh, so so in the center part of uh, Shua. I have to say thank you for all of your uh, uh, tourism from many parts of Indonesia who came to Thailand. Come to participate with TTA. Come to partic participate in a uh, travel fair. It's a very good feedback because every country who come to visit us in office TTA, I try to convince all of them that first, you have to come to Thailand more often. Second, you have to come to Simida. And then if you have a budget, please try to do something for a you know, friend trip so-and-so. And then when you open to join our trip, uh, 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 travel fair, you will get success. So I think if you compare, since uh, when we have a commit with the uh, uh, government that to increase the Thai tourists, we do a little bit and a little bit. Yeah, but on the other hand, the Indonesian tourists came to Thailand more and more. So we have to say thank you very much, you know, for this figure. I try to make balance you know, as soon as possible if uh, the shine is coming, you know. But right now, because we have no traffic, so on, uh, between Thailand and many, many countries for air traffic and for many conditions for the government uh, during, you know, uh, coronavirus violence, you know. Next, please. Okay, I prepared a question, you know, from your side. So, please, the first question is, please, next one. Okay, the question that I get from your side, what are the complaints they have when visiting Indonesia destination? I tell you frankly, I shared with most of the agents who operate the group to Indonesia, any destination, Jakarta, so and so and so, they would mention that uh, set over price for product or souvenir. Okay, the final price we can get very cheap, but we have to fighting for negotiate. This is a, one of the main points. If most of the shopping area can fix the price on try to do uh, 
more flexible, not not not, not have her, you know, uh, 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 set up too high and let us, you know, com complain or negotiate. But again, 50%, 60%, I think I do appreciate. But the other, you know, most of the Thai tourists never complain. Hotel, okay. You have many category, three star, four star, five star is perfect. Meal, cuisine, very good. You have a local food, you have a Chinese, even the Japanese and so on. We never get any problem for a meal. And the other, I think only one point for the high price, but it's not concerned for tour fare. The tour fare in Indonesia, very reasonable, I tell you frankly, very reasonable. So not difficult for us to keep pushing all the members to sell this market. Yeah. Okay, so one point uh, that they complain, oh, concern for the high price. Next one, please. Okay. What they are complaining again, they have a uh, visiting into the city destination. I'm trying to conclude from many, many uh, answers. They conclude like this logistic what we mean logistic i understand that you know all the way from jakarta to bandung or maybe uh, all the way from uh, uh, yogya to many city surround yogya the traffic uh, not so easy and the traffic that move uh, quite slowly Slowly, sometimes we can't control the time. And the other thing concerned for logistics is the condition for the bus. Maybe Thai market, we are standard class. We're not a luxury class. We're not a premium class. So most of the uh, uh, bus on the coach that Thai agent use, the condition is not not so good, maybe too small, maybe the seat, they fix to, to, to very uh, squeak, something like that. Even for myself, I've been in the DC, I think more than 10, 20 years, you know. So I would get the good course only I pay for premium course or maybe uh, just a luxury uh, tour, but for standard tour, I we got the 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 complaint by the bus condition felicity. So this is a, a conclusion from many many agents, you know, for they complain for the logistic and uh, for for the bus condition, you know. Okay, next, next please. Okay, after we complain already, we see what are the compliment they have when visiting into the sea destination. We have a lot of answers, but we conclude that clearly people of Indonesia, you know, mostly very friendly like Thai people. They have smile, they very welcome tourists, especially Thai people, we are same like you. Same skill, same test. So, anywhere we be, we are get welcome. So I think it's a main point because I know that you should be know one of the key point for Thai market. I think you heard that this Thailand, the land of smile, same. I think Indonesia, you do the same thing. Anywhere we be, anywhere we go, we see a local people willing to smile. So it's a very important, and I think that you know, this is, should be the uh, one of the key points that Indonesia should be doing. Not like many countries, the people, even though they welcome, but they not spy. This is very important, you know, very important. I think local family. And next one, please. This one, the, what are the compliments they have when they arrive in Indonesia? Destination. 
we want to say tell you that we are association who consists by outbound agent uh, nearly 800 members and each member they do all each destination but we have a member who concern southeast asia especially indonesia if i check after i check it's around 50 agents up to 100 agents they always concern around this area indonesia malaysia brunei uh, malaysia so and so but if include the other it's around 200 agents but indonesia only is around 50 up to 75 agents the thing that you know Thai tourists love and I want to say that this is complement from your side when they arrive in the destination. Culture, culture, culture in Indonesia, you are very strong. And every group, you know, when they've been there, they see the show performance and so on. Very impressive, especially in Bali, tell you friendly, because you have something uh, unique, you know. So I was say thanks because even the last year, Kuniki uh, have a, a small uh, 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 function and I be joy and I the one very lucky to have a lucky door and I got a you know ticket and hotel in Bali. After five six years I never been in Bali, I back again to Bali. Wow, it's still the same. The people so and so still be the same. So nice and. You prepare, you uh, arrange uh, the system. I think, I think one of the best in, in, in Indonesia. You know, so culture. You know, Thai people are very impressive. And I, personal myself, I love it. You know, any drama and so and so, the culture is very excellent. You know, when compare with the other city in Indonesia, you are the best. Next one, please. What are they the compliment again they have her when they visit the destination? Okay, this one I'm I'm not concerned uh, too much for for which religion, but I generally say religion because in addition 85, 90 percent uh, uh, Muslim is okay. But the rest in Bali, I know that you are um, uh, Buddhist uh, uh, Hindu and Thai people mostly, 90, 85, 90% is Buddhist. So every time when we've been uh, Bali, we feel that like uh, we've been at home. You have a lot of culture, you have a lot of uh, uh, the, 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 the way for your life, the religions in Bali, quite the same like us, quite the same like Buddhists, you know. So ev everyone that's been in Bali, they, they are way compare when we be in the other, just like, um, okay, Jakarta, uh, Medan, uh, Bandung, so and so, except uh, Yogya, because Yogya, not far away from Yogya, is uh, Pulo, Pulo Puto. That one is uh, something left for the Buddhist religion for uh, 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 more than a thousand years ago. So I think religion, you know, for uh, Thai people, especially, when we be in there, and we, if we have a lucky, we see the some, some, some uh, uh, parade, some uh, festival with concern for the religions of uh, in Bali. We very, very happy, and everyone very exciting for this, you know. So I think that this is a unique point for Bali, and please keep it, you know, because you are different from the other city, you know, in Indonesia. Next, please. And the last one, this is what this is a one of the highlight. I think you, you can accept yourself that uh, your country is a thousand, thousand island because and your country, you have a volcanic area, right? You, you have a lot of uh, volcanic area. You have a lot of island, uh, it's a beautiful, and you have a landscape, so and so, and you have a very nice beach. So this is one of the key points for Thai people. Even though Thai people 
they feel first first when before they beat Indonesia, before they beat Bali, they think that it's Indonesia, same like Thailand. The same like Thailand. We have a beach, we have a beach, we have an island, we have an island. But we don't have volcanic area, but you have volcanic area. Okay, religion, okay, we're different, so and so. But natural, you know, scenery, you know, you are, I think, I would say that you are one of the top 10 country. It's a beautiful destination. It's very worth to be in there because I've been in uh, Indonesia, okay, several times, but I, I never been the other big island. I've been only Sumatra, so, uh, uh, Showa, uh, Lombok. Okay, I've been some, but still less when compared with uh, the other nice scenery in your country. So I think this is one of us. Compliment for Thai tourists. Every Thai tourist will be in your country for this. Okay. Next one, please. Now, one of the questions that you mentioned, uh, not this one, please, uh, before this one. Okay. Are there new member who want to sell Indonesia destination? I will say that absolutely 100%. According to, we have a coronavirus, you know, by 2019. Last year, we have a member around 800 members, but now we have 50 to 60. They can't survive. They say goodbye. Uh, travel business, you know, I can't stand anymore because we didn't get any support from the government. Uh, I have a long story if I mention maybe it's not so nice to 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 to, to show that uh, <laughs> our government disagree for our vow. You know. But anyhow we talk to every minister of tourism that uh, every car business especially travel business we have two way traffic in and out. Sometimes in for out one, some country one one, some country just like between Thai and Indonesia, we still one to you and you came to us 1.5 on 1.8. This is uh, the reason why uh, we try to get a new member. At this moment, around one week, we got a new member come to apply already for our 10 agent already. Why? Why we got the new agent because I announced in the, when I have a, a general election, you know, that in the term, if I can be the committee of the say this time, during my term, couple of years, I wait for the uh, register fee. It costs each year around, let's say, 140 US dollars per year. It's been two years. They wait to $180, uh, you know. I need to keep the member, I need them to survive. So when we have a new member coming and coming, I think that they would like to go to Indonesia destination. Yes. Next one, please. And I would like to um, suggest, this is uh, the way that I'm trying to convince all NTO, the National Tourism Organization, every country to came to see us, especially when back to more six years ago, um, and the one of the president tried to convince NTO from every country who came to Thailand, that if you need to increase the Thai tourists, need to increase the figure for Thai tourists, you have to follow me like this, this, this system. And I would like to tell you, Japan, India, such as, and many countries from European country, and so on, they come to visit me. Even though the committee of uh, EU come to see me, how can we increase the titles to that, that, that? I say, you bet you like it. Okay. First, you come to join with us, especially if you have a chance you start to do seminars. You can do by yourself, or you can 
come to work with us because we have a meeting room can contain around 50 to 70 people to to promote your country the seminar and if you need to do a workshop and so on it's all right and next one please if you start to do seminar already okay you come to make presentation uh you have any uh, uh, representative from 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 each part of your country, just from Jakarta, from Yogyakarta, from Bandung, from East Papua, from Bali, you come. But I see that every time when you came, you should be get together. You should be uh, come to pack together. If you come time to time, it's not strong enough, and especially the agent, they they don't have so much time to come to. Uh, a seminar, but if you come to under uh, 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 tourism of Indonesia, okay, this part, this part, this part, you come together, you have a big uh, seminar, and then you just start to do a workshop, okay. Some NGOs, some part of your country, maybe if you have budget, you just start to do a workshop. I and the committee, we can select the agency. The, the, the real one to support you. We not to just only uh, 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 spread your news and hey, uh, Indonesia tourism, so and so have a function. Anyone who want to join, no, we don't do it like that. We try to select, and maybe we work with Kuniki. Kuniki is the one that, the, one of the, 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 the organizer who select, you know, uh, the real agent who operate the group to Indonesia. So maybe she and GTA, we can work together, select and workshop, you know. Next, please. Next, please. And then after that, you know, you see what the Indonesia Tourism Authority and local DMC should be do to attract more tourists. After you start, like I mentioned, you do seminar, or you make presentation from your place, you make a workshop ready, you better, you better arrange the more fan trip. I would like to tell you one thing. For many, many years, when any agent do the friend trip, sometimes they select just a wrong agent. They didn't <laughs> study that this idea never do to into this year, but they want to try. Okay, they select. But then after that, when they been there, they come back to Bangkok on Thailand. They didn't work it. They go for pleasure. So I think that friend trip should be concerned for seminar and workshop. Any agent who concern and concentrate for that. Uh, any activity that you do or we do, okay, we select to do a friend trip to any destination, it's up to you. And the costing, I think that they can support themselves some part and some part, you know, uh, uh, maybe absorb on the race by your side. I think this is a very success because most of NTO that I mentioned do like this and very success. Next one, please. After I tell you three steps already, last step that Kudiki just mentioned, travel fair, GTA, amongst 10 years, we do travel fair twice a year. But last year, when uh, economic uh, just crisis last year before Coronavirus came. And now coronavirus came again. So we had to postpone travel fair from last year, August, to be January. And at this moment, we're still meeting for a committee that we can do or not for a travel fair. Maybe we have need to postpone a little bit, you know, because at this moment, your, your time is not. Not concerned, you know. Okay, we are nearly finished already. And the next one, please, I go to fast, you know, before the 
Okay, did you ever find it? Okay, this is the way that we do. Okay, next please. Okay, you can see by yourself. This is the way that we arrange for all of NTO. And next one, please. Okay, and next one, please. Okay, this is the figure. I, Nikki told you already, we got 30 million, and this is top 10 yeah, for tourists to Thailand. And the last one that I would like to say that, you know, what kind of factor to make it, it possible? Next one, please. Yeah, look at this already. What kind of factor to make it possible for Thai to get to risk 39 million? First culture. Next one, please. Second, food. Next one, please. Natural. Next one, please. Festival. Next one, please. And the, even and the last one is entertainment. So I'm sorry, this is the first time for me to make a presentation by Zoom. I didn't well prepare for this, so I say apologize for anyone to take that just too long. Because next time it, it has it, I try the conclusion in time that I have it. So thank you very much for it, everyone to listen to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night, Cap. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, Kun Sutipong, Kapun Kap. So it was a great information uh, to our uh, Indonesian Indonesia uh, Indonesian tour operators or inbounders uh, who are joining uh, this online seminar uh, today. Uh, uh, Kun Sutipong was explaining just now, explaining uh, two things, of course. Uh, one is about uh, uh, good kinds and bad comments. I think we all know that all the uh, players who play in bond here in Indonesia, we have to put all explained by So the good things about Indonesia, uh, he already mentioned that we have very beautiful destination, very unique. And then uh, we have a very friendly people. And culture, beautiful nature every, everywhere, all over Indonesia, and so religious activities, especially Bali, uh, Hindu, and also other part of Indonesia, of course, the uh, other region. Uh, and there are uh, some, uh, of course, uh, negative comments, uh, which we also have to know, every one of us. One is high price, high price, but uh, of course, it's uh, very expensive. So then, the uh, uh, with no facilities inside. So then, suggested us to attract ties uh, in the future, entering this new normal. So um, we should uh, be able to create some of uh, and the next is workshop and uh, fam trip. But definitely, Kun uh, Sutipong, uh, our INBA, uh, will try to, uh, to, to organize this, to arrange a fam trip to the destination, whichever in Indonesia, we'll try to organize that uh, in the future for the fam trip. And then for the travel fair, uh, I do not know if uh, you know, we have one international standard travel fair, which is called Bali and Beyond Travel Fair. And that's uh, the first time I to be before, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Great, great. In Bali. Yes. You have to come then. In, yeah, you can come. Yeah. <laughs> in 2000, I will invite sure. you to come. Uh, in okay. 2021, we will have this on June 8 to uh, 12. 8 to 12 okay. on June. And actually, uh, ARTA, the inbound associations of Thai travel agents in, in, in Thailand, they already joined this event two years ago. They bring, uh, if I'm not mistaken, nearly 20 companies mm, to, yes. to, to uh, coming as sellers. So we hope that BBTF 2021 
uh, not only the sellers but also I would like you to suggest all your, uh, many of your uh, outbound players to come and uh, attend this uh, Bali and Beyond Travel Fair because uh, we have many buyers uh, from many countries. So last time we are inviting around uh, 330 buyers from nearly 50 countries. Nearly 50 countries. Good for your sellers also promoting your destination there. Besides your buyers themselves coming to BBTF to sell all what we have in uh, Indonesia. So uh, thank you again, Kun. Comments letter or uh, from our participant today. Thank you. And Thank now you, I would like to give uh, the, 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 the opportunity to Kun Pruamas uh, Mosho, Kun Tai. The time is yours, 15 minutes. Thank you so much. And Kun Tai is a tour operator in uh, Thailand, selling many destinations, of course, including uh, Indonesia and, of course, uh, Bali. Kun Tai, time is yours, 15 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Kun uh, Adana. Um, good afternoon, and um, can you hear? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Good. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, thank you, Kun Arana, and the uh, Indonesia Inbound Tour Operator Association for uh, inviting me today. It's uh, really a great pleasure to be here. And um, I would like to um, share you a little bit about my company. Um, May I have the first slide, please? Can I can I control my own slide, please? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, I need I need you to allow me actually. Some Okay, please continue, Kuntai. Okay. Um, all right. I hope you can see the slide clearly. I cannot see it from here. Uh, I can. You can, yes? Okay. It's very clear. Very Oops. clear. Very clear, yes. Keep going. All right. Okay, so um, let me introduce uh, our company then. Um, Orienta Vista established in the year 2000, and now we are doing both uh, inbound and outbound market and also wholesale uh, land service for uh, Thai sub agencies. Yes, and um, we have uh, sent uh, tourists. Uh, from uh, Thailand to Indonesia, and also we welcome Indonesian tourists to Thailand too, especially from uh, Bali and uh, Jogja to Thailand. And um, we actually focus on uh, selling uh, Asia and Indonesia uh, mar uh, market, especially Indonesia, of course, uh, both for uh, leisure and business and for uh, groups or FIT. And um, I believe it's the same topic to everyone. We are talking about the Indonesian tourism prospect to Thai uh, market. And uh, so <clears throat> I would try to go fast because this uh, information seems to uh, be mentioned before. As you see, uh, last year only we have around 11 million people uh, from Thailand travel abroad and uh, Laos and Malaysia seem to be uh, number one and two, but this cannot really explain that they are all Thai tourists visiting to these two destinations because we have border, uh, land border next to Thailand. So any day I can just walk into Malaysia or walk into Laos, so uh, I might just go for shopping or a dish of noodle and come back like that. So um, I would say if we are talking about tourists from Thailand visiting overseas, I would say Japan and China, Korea, Vietnam, and Singapore seem to be our top five. And uh, as uh, we all know, last year we have around a thousand, I mean, 137,000 Thai visiting to uh, Indonesia. 
And um, this year is different because we have this uh, pandemic. So the uh, Thai people would be um, more of um, uh, awareness in um, safety and so on. So there might be a different in um, the way they do travel. And as there will be travel in the new normal way, uh, and I believe everyone uh, have uh, mentioned those. So I'm going to go uh, quickly through because now Thai people can travel domestically already. We can go anywhere in Thailand uh, freely. And um, most of the people after these um, quarantine that we have, uh, that we have to stay home. Once the government allowed us to travel we seem to very much like to go out and really eager to travel within the country, actually. But uh, they're still are worried about the second wave, as we all know. So the Thai people still travel with the new normal way, still wearing masks, keep distances, wash their hands and so on. And I believe anywhere else in the world would practice the same. But when we allow to travel outbound, that's, uh, we have to say when, uh, not like um, Indonesia, did you say, okay, 11 September, but our um, country is still a hope in the sky but that we will be able to travel one day. But um, if we can travel again, surely people would take the first opportunity and uh, they will surely choose the country that they are more confident about the safety and the health issue. And um, I'm sure that Indonesia will be in mind of the uh, destination. And uh, as you may have heard of the term travel bubble. Yes. This, this travel bubble, if we can um, promote between Thailand and Indonesia, it would ease on the uh, decision of uh, traveling because the Thai people want to go into the place that they are sure about um, if they are there, will they be safe, will they be treated well, and so on. And so the travel bubble scheme will, will help really quite a lot if we have uh, these, these uh, opportunity. And um, for some of the research, uh, in looking at the behavior of the Thai tourists, we think that the Thai tourists will not want to go very far away. Uh, if they have to fly to the destination, five hours is quite a good timing. More than that is a little bit too far already. Um, and also they would prefer to go to the place with no visa required. And of course, affordable price, attractive price, but luxury is also in mind. So uh, how about some luxury in affordable price? Yes, will be really good and will help them decide on going to the destination easier. And uh, if we can have this trouble, I mean, travel bubble in between Thailand and uh, Indonesia, both government has to um, be more clear about the protocol. We, the Thai people who would be travel overseas would surely want to know if once they get to Indonesia, will there be any uh, quarantine? They will be facing a swap case at their cost or at your cost, you know? And uh, if they will face the same thing when they return home or not. So these kind of thing must be announced. And uh, I'm sure that the update information or announcement of the um, current situation about the immigration, about the entry policy, the health standard news from Indonesia tourism would be a great help to make the Thai people decide to choose Indonesia as instead of you know, number 19, possibly go up to number one of uh, two, three, four, five, like that. So it's uh, quite an opportunity there. And um, suppose all this is clear and the Thai people decide, okay, Indonesia, my next travel destination. What are they thinking of? 
when the Thai people thinking of going to Indonesia, there are many places they are thinking of, and um, because there are uh, quite a news about the uh, destination, and I saw on TV program once in a while there's the promotion on this destination in uh, Indonesia. So uh, when we think of going to Indonesia. Uh, they will think of all destinations from um, west to east, which are, of course, um, quite a lot. But what would first come in mind? If we, I want to go to uh, Indonesia, where should I go? No question, Bali. Because Bali is really well known amongst the Thai. And uh, also, it's very easy to get there. Uh, we have a direct flight uh, from several airlines, um, fly direct Bangkok then Pasa, and um, several flights a day. So that is really uh, convenient. And the cost is, as far as I'm concerned, last year cost for airfare. So that's really helped. And um, just only I hope that after the pandemic, the price would keep down there still. And the uh, direct flight is still there, available for the uh, Thai to, to take to go into their uh, beloved destination. And Bali has a lot to offer, as we all know. Uh, it's very rich in culture, and uh, people love the spirit of the island. They like beautiful beaches. They love your nature, mountains, traditional villages, and we like shopping there. Shopping there is really quite a heaven there, and uh, we can bargain and so on. So, uh, batik and other handicraft. Uh, yeah. Even salak is um, something that every Thai goes to Indonesia, they will be looking for. So, it's considered as a shopping paradise as well. But beside Bali, where else will be thinking of? Of course, Yogyakarta. Jakarta is well known for Borobudur, of course, as the, we all know um, Thai people would be uh, going to Borobudur for a religious purpose, and uh, some people would just go to see uh, one of the um, so-called seven wonders of the world and um, take the opportunity to see the largest um, Hindu sculpture in Prabhanan or pray at the Chandi Vendu um, or visit to Ratuboko or Krejan um, Jagata also. All this is um, uh, what actually we, we have in mind already. But um, beside that, where else? Surabaya. Well, um, if you are thinking about Surabaya, I think most of us would just think of uh, Bromo. Uh, but some of the Thai who has the adventurous mind would also go to Kava Ijin as well. And um, I think um, there are several other uh, tourist uh, attractions that um, Surabaya tried to introduce to the Thai, which I hope will be more and more destination to uh, let the Thai uh, visit to. And um, other city, of course, Jakarta and Bandung. Jakarta and Bandung would be more for business as um, well, um, I have to say that uh, since we are working uh, for Thai people visiting to um, Indonesia, we mostly found that the Thai people go to Jakarta and uh, Bandung first. Um, decision is that they go for a meeting. Sorry, you have four minutes left, Kuntai. Thank you. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> and um, so um, they also go to like Medan and um, um, for sightseeing. And what about other destination? Of course, there are many other places that uh, we can visit like Komodo Island and uh, uh, to explore the East Nusa Tenggara and uh, to visit to Lombok or even um, hiking at the um, um, Mount uh, Rinjani or to dive at the uh, Raja Ampat or so on. But uh, for the destination, did you already uh, have um, 
people visit, you should add more activities to draw more tourists uh, to uh, your uh, destination. Uh, of course, Bali has Bali Swing and all those um, um, good photo st uh, stop. And um, Georgia has um, something like Jeep Merapi, which can be quite uh, interesting. And I should mention to have a bay check ride in um, Georgia is also very interesting which um, you only add it when, when we use the bus and the bus cannot take people into some small street, but Beja uh, and Beja right is really a charm of the city. You should consider that in the itinerary, no matter they use the car or on the bus though. And of course, good food and good resort and fun shopping place, add it onto the itinerary. So you surely will draw more uh, Thai uh, tourists. So, I think I'll, I'll try to complete the, um, do I still have time or my time is running out? Um, okay, uh, one, one, one last thing that I would like to uh, mention is that um, the, the keyword that you would do to attract more Thai uh, people beside all the good place to stay, good attraction, good meal, Local guide is really important, and um, Thai speaking guide is really uh, more preferable, which I believe very very hard to to get uh, in uh, Indonesia. And also another thing is about transportation, as many of us has been mentioned. Your bus is smaller, and for the people who go for business, they prefer bigger cars. So how about some bigger cars than in Jakarta, for example? Okay, and um, I, I'm. I'm going to uh, round that up now, and I hope you have uh, uh, quite uh, good information from um, my presentation. And if anyone has the more questions, do not hesitate to uh, drop in your question, and I would be more than pleasure to answer if I could. Yep. Thank you, and Kapun. Thank you, Kuntai Kapun Kap. Thank you so much for all your information being a tour operator in Thailand that also selling outbound to Indonesia. You already mentioning that uh, Indonesia is one of the top destination for uh, your company, of course. There are so many places that you're interested to promote and sell, not only Bali, but also there are many places like Yogyakarta, Surabaya, Jakarta, and uh, others, of course. But very important, you were mentioning that uh, Entering this uh, new normal, I think we are as in founders here in Indonesia, we must be ready to fulfill the, the health protocol. Yeah, like the cleanliness, the health and safety. I think this will be very important for your uh, tourists from Thailand, uh, uh, this uh, coming uh, new normal. And also, of course, they will be expecting uh, luxury uh, places with uh, safety and competitive prices, of course, they expect for that. And then you also mentioned that uh, you hope that there will be a travel bubble between Indonesia and Thailand, but this is, of course, uh, G2G. Of course, we are also expecting uh, all those. And also, Kun, Kun Thai uh, uh, saying that uh, there should be more activities yeah, in some places or in some destinations in Indonesia, like in Yogyakarta, probably Becak. Yeah, and also in other places, like now in Bali, there are may, uh, many uh, photo, uh, uh, photo stops and uh, swings and so on and so on. So, um, being experienced uh, outbound tour operators, I think uh, all the participants have been listening uh, what we must do in the future for uh, the, the Thai visitors. So let us give a big hand to uh, Kun Thai. Thank you so much again. Yeah. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now we are entering the question and answer. We are now entering the question and answer. So uh, uh, there are four speakers, as you know. Uh, we had uh, the Vice Governor of Bali, Pacho Acho who is now, uh, 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 because Pak Cho Atse, the vice governor has uh, left us already. Uh, now we have the representative, representative there, who is uh, Dayu Indah, yeah, from the government. 
and then next we still have uh, Nikki from Vito. Then we still have the president of TPAA, Kun Chuti Pong, and we also have from Orienta Vista, uh, Kun Thai. So if there is any question uh, from the participant, we still have uh, around 20 minutes until we reach uh, uh, 5 uh, p.m. Indonesian time. So we still have 20 minutes and we give you time uh, if you would like to know more from uh, whoever uh, the speakers. Time is yours, participant. Thank you. Please. Silakan yang mau bicara, siapa saja. Karena saya uh, lihat di uh, ininya, di chatnya ada, ada yang nulis bertanya di sana. Ardana ada nah, satu pertanyaan okay, uh, okay. dari Daxioma. So we we'll give you the, the time. Please, what is your question? Pak Ardana bisa lihat di chat room ada satu pertanyaan. Apa namanya itu Pak? Daxioma Pak, dari Daxioma. Daxioma, ya, oke okay, yeah. silakan dari Daxioma. Iya. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Saya bacakan Silahkan. aja Pak ya. Ya buka aja Pak, biar dia langsung okay. tanya. Question to Mr. Sutipong. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Dana Jaya Aksioma, ex-director at ASEAN Japan Center. Could you share to us how Thailand could attract so much tourists from Middle East through Thailand is a Buddhist majority country, while Indonesia, as the biggest Muslim country, could not attract so much. Is there any strategy or policy in grabbing this Muslim market? Thank you. This is from Danajaya Aksioma. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to just uh, say that I'm not uh, exactly answer because I'm not the one who do involve. Mostly I do for Obama, right? But I have concern when I'm talking all the members from Inbao Association at that. Why? We have a lot of uh, Middle East tourism Came to Thailand. Uh, one of the key points, most of them came to Thailand concerned for a health care. Healthcare. They always came to Thailand uh, just to shake up the body so and so and especially uh, for uh, uh, the hospital association. They, this group, they are very strong. They travel to Middle East you know, to do the road show most most of the country in the East, you know, this group as a central hospital support by government uh, uh, TAT and, and include the Ministry of Tourism, they, they support some budget to the road show for uh, uh, convince all the, you know, people from Middle East, you know, who want to shake up the body mm. and for many operations, surgeons, so and so. This is, a, I think, more than 40, 50 percent of uh, Middle East tourism came to Thailand. Even though Thailand, we are not a, uh, you know, the main uh, uh, culture, uh, we, are, we are not the main of religion for uh, uh, Muslim, but they came because they come to the, the shake up the body. And the rest, you know, many members of ETA on or in Bao uh, Association, they have uh, some group. Uh, they mix by Muslim, Buddhist, so and so. They decide a program for uh, Middle East people, only Middle East people. When they traveling, so and so, the uh, accommodation, so and so, the the food, the cuisine, so and so, the sizing, so and so. They 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 especially decide for this group. So after they go back. Most of them, I think more than 75% appreciate and then mouth to mouth. So the figure for Middle East country just move, go on, go on, and go on. I know that the, the major point is supposed to go to Indonesia. They're supposed to go to Malaysia, to Brunei. But I, I, so I, I can conclude why they come to Thailand because we are uh, set up the, the group of a private sector very strong. Uh, and support by the government to give them a good cancer. This is uh, uh, the answer that I can give it to you in 
deep in detail. Maybe uh, I had to just give you the uh, 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 question and I bring you to the whole book and reply that to you by by email or something like that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kun Titipong. So I hope uh, uh, it's answering the questions of Dananjaya from Axioma. So what uh, uh, Thailand do is uh, the government helping, supporting the industry to do the promotion. Uh, the budget is coming from the, 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 the government. I hope I'm true, I, I'm correct. Eh? So the government is helping the, the budget. Beside uh, in Thailand, there is a inbound association which is called ATTA. Yeah, ATTA, Associations of yeah. and Travel Agency. Thailand Travel Association for inbound. And they also uh, often uh, go and bring the members to promote the destination Thailand. They're sharing all the expenses and so on. And the result is uh, uh, good enough to bring the Middle East people to Thailand. Am I correct? Okay, so that is the answer. Dananjaya, we have to do in Indonesia. So I think Indonesia, the ministry is also helping us. Yeah, so. Uh, to set up the, the booth when we are going to international event, uh, but also our uh, some of our companies they go, uh, doing this promotion together also with the expenses the same like what you uh, mentioned. Of course, we will try to continue this and maybe to uh, encourage the government to do more uh, to promote. Yeah, probably come also to uh, Thailand so that we can get more. Uh, Thai tour operators sending uh, tourists to uh, Indonesia. Thank you so much. Uh, is that clear, Pak Dananjaya, or uh, do you have any uh, more question? Thank you. Next, Pak Ardana uh, from from the press, Alex Kurniawan. Uh, shall we let him say uh, directly on the okay. meeting room? Please, Pak okay. Alex, please uh, unmute yourself, Pak Alex from TTG Asia. Hello, Pak Ardena. Yeah. Yes, yes. Hello, Pak. Yeah, yeah. Alex, yeah. yeah. Uh, my question is, uh, what is the, what is the, what is the strategy from the Bali administration and from the members of Intoa or, or, or the uh, to to attract to attract to attract Thai to attract Thai tourists to come to, to to come to Indonesia. Uh have you met a special uh have have you met a special package such as a discount or uh maybe a good deals to attract Thai tourists to come to Indonesia later after this pandemic is over? Is enough? Yes. Okay. Uh <clears throat> Uh, okay, thank you so much, uh, Pa Alex. I think the answers will be coming from the government of Bali, which is repre represented by Ibu Dayuna, so that is one. And then after that, I would like to uh, ask maybe Pa Paul to answer the question as well from Indoa. So how do we attract tourists coming from uh, from Thailand to our uh, destination? Benar Pak, gitu ya pertanyaannya? Iya Pak. Iya Pak. So now I'll give the, the opportunity to Ibu Dayu. To, to answer the, the question to Pak Alex, and then after that, continued by Pak Paul Talo. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for the times given, Pak Tut Ardana. Uh, I am, as the representative of the Bali Government Tourism Office, uh, would like to answer the question. So, uh, our strategy uh, to attract uh, the tourists uh, from Thailand is that uh, next year, after this uh, COVID pandemic outbreak uh, has uh, harming, uh, we would like to make a farm trip, as well as uh, to promote uh, the, the beautiful culture and also our beautiful nature, uh, as well as that uh, uh, that is uh, very attractive uh, for the tourists uh, of uh, Thailand. Uh, and also, uh, we would like uh, to uh, make a, 
uh, like a cooperation with the tourism uh, industry, uh, especially with uh, the hotels uh, and then uh, the tourism objects uh, that uh, they will uh, make uh, hot deals or uh, cheaper uh, prices uh, for uh, the Thai tourists, uh, something like that. And also, of course, um, online uh, promotion, of course, uh, because uh, we are uh, promoting uh, digital uh, tourism promotion uh, through uh, the social media like Facebook. And then we also uh, try to encourage or invite a YouTuber, vlogger from Thailand uh, to come to Bali and then uh, uh, give uh, them uh, the uh, uh, give them the, the experiences in Bali uh, so that and then uh, they will upload their uh, experiences in their uh, social media so it will be like a soft selling for, for Bali uh, through that youtuber and vlogger from the Thai uh, country something like that probably my uh, answer uh, will be uh, completed uh, by the tourism industry thank you Thank you very much. Saya sambung Pak ya. Silakan Pak Paul. Mas Ales, thank you for questioning. Uh, what is the strategy of uh, Intoa members to welcome Thai people to Bali? My answer is actually connecting to uh, Kun Musa. The strategy is to give trust and confidence, if I may learn from uh, Ibunia, the Director General of uh, Marketing of uh, Tourism Office in Jakarta. Trust and confidence is to give all those who would like to visit Bali or Indonesia. Number one, we actually give the price that Miss, uh, yeah, Miss Musa said, if possible, the same price as 2020 or, or 2019. So not to increase the price too much. But uh, I think everybody should understand that in five months, there's no income at all, no activity, and every every, everyone in the tourism business are terrified hungry so how to make the price too cheap to make the tourists to come but they can eat after the activities so i'm my 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 my, my suggestion is to keep the price but to convince the clients to give better services as we do and one thing what the indonesian do is to keep health and safety using masks in every activities from the airport to all the destinations uh, in, in, in the tourism attraction. And that is one of the, the strategy that we can offer to the uh, uh, all visitors that we can serve better in this way. So that is my answer, Mas Alice. Okay. And then uh, secondly, pa, uh, pa, uh, pa Ardana, moderator, uh, please let me, because the time is running out, I would like to say thank you to uh, Miss Nikki, Miss Sutipong, and Miss Mus um, Murov, Musov, sorry, Musov, for the participation as the, uh, as the chairman of INTOA. I never gave speech in my uh, welcome uh, opportunity. I just gave after that the whole thing uh, almost terminated and I can just explain what we are and what, what we are doing. Uh, number one, for Miss Nikki, my request is to keep promoting Indonesia. And thank you to share the address to my member. So I believe the Intua member will write to you. Thank you especially to my uh, Chairman of Asita Bali, Mr. Fitut Ardana, and the Secretary of Mr. Putu, who also are uh, very active to, to promote to the members how to attract more 
uh, partners from outside, from Thailand, from all the countries. So thank you very much, uh, Pak Ardane and Pak Putu. Keep that job uh, smoothly. Then yang kedua, secondly, uh, I would like to uh, thank you for Mr. Sutipong. No wonder you are elected. You were elected as the, the, the chairman of uh, TTAA. Of TTAA. How you, how you speak, how you uh, explain, how you elaborate all those marketing sense, then you did it very good. I like it. I like the vein. I learned from you today. Thank you. Thank you. But my question is, uh, well, why, why Thailand more popular than Indonesia? You have 38,000 million people, while the Indonesian only have 16 million. Can you share with us your secret strategy to make the Indonesian and my friends can attract more tourists? Uh, you answer later, sir. And then and next, my question is, can you share with us to your member that the international uh, tour operators, wholesalers from Europe and America who visit Thailand, work in Thailand and say, hi, why don't you go down, uh, down to Indonesia and work with the Intoa member state? So because I know that more American and European tour operators, the big one, they have offices in your country. Thank you, Tun uh, Thank you. And to uh, Miss, uh, Miss Muso. Thank you very much. You learned by heart all those uh, uh, numbers of Indonesian tourist attraction. I really admire it. So I thank you very much indeed. And I hope next time we can meet. Oh yeah, one thing. By family, about family. I would like very much to have your members to be in Indonesia. Or one day I bring my members to Thailand. Thank you. Please answer my questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Pak Paul. Um, I also would like to thank you to Ibu Dayu, who has already answered the questions of Pak Alex and also Pak Paul. So the strategy how to bring the tourists to uh, to the destination, Ibu Dayu already explained that, uh, of course, one of them is by uh, having a fam trip, because by that way we can uh, give some experience uh, some knowledge about the nature that we have at the destination, about culture, and then to cooperate with the hotel industries and uh, other tourism stakeholders at the destination by making hot deal products, etc., etc., and then digital promotions by social media bloggers uh, for uh, Thailand uh, market and give them experience in Bali. And then Pak Paul uh, says that. Uh, we're not going to increase yeah, the prices that we had already in 2019 when we're entering the new normal 2000, maybe end of this year or 2021. We would like to keep that uh, prices with better services. Okay? So keep the prices, but with better prices. But of course, most important is to uh, follow and to stick with the, uh, with the health uh, protocol, like cleanliness, health and safety. So that is the strategy. I hope that all the answering the question by uh, Alex. So because the time is already over, yeah, it's already uh, five o'clock, five p.m. Indonesian time is what we uh, prepared, that's what we promised. So once again, thank you very much for all the. Abdul, pertanyaan tadi. Siapa? Pak Mr. Kul, Mr. Apa Kutipo, Sutipo. Tanyaannya apa itu, Pak? Sudah, sudah sampaikan tadi. So, yang jawab siapa? Uh, Bisa Suti Pong yang jawab. Oke, okay, uh, yeah. So, I would like to thank you to uh, Kun Suti Pong that you already answered the, the questions from the uh, participant. Uh, I, I believe that uh, your answer is very satisfying. Yeah, because there were no additional uh, questions, so that means that your answer is uh, satisfying. Thank you so much once again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, um, because the time is over. Uh, no, 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 no. Pak Sutipong mau jawab pertanyaannya, Pak. Okay, is it so? I'm sorry, I miss, I miss it. Okay. Thank so you, thank you, thank you. Good question. Thank you, please. 
Bunjuti. Yes, Mr. Sutipong, please. Would you like to answer the, the question? Uh, I think the, the question that as you asked me, you know, uh, you, you need to know the strategy, right, for uh, Thailand while we have 69 million and we have uh, uh, nearly 40 uh, tourism, you know, 40 million for tourism, you know, from all over. Very short, just really clear. Your organization, you know, both part government and private sector, you used to be our, let's say, come together compact and unity, like in Thailand, PAT, Minister of Tourism, they full support for inbound association. They full support hotel association. And they full support many associations who concern for tourists. But unfortunately, they not support TTAA because we are due outbound. This is for many, many years. TTA, we have to stand alone and stand on our leg. But anyhow, we try to just keep going and running until 36, 37 years already. And I try to turn the attitude for the government that it has two way traffic. If you need tourists from every country, Thai tourists are supposed to be there. Okay, the ratio, I tell you, one for 10, one for five, one for one, one for two, doesn't matter. But this is a little bit trick that your government and your private sector, you had to unity. And when you move, you know, uh, marketing plan and so on, you should be come along together. You should not uh, split, you know, this part, that part, so on, and then we, uh, uh, our bar association, sometimes we a little bit confused because sometimes government handle have a seminar this week. Next week, the other association, the, the other uh, NTO, some part of your country came again, slightly do the same thing. So <laughs> it's hard for us to get together all the members to attend once. So I think that this is one of the tricks that uh, strategy that uh, our government quite success and they keep running to support all the time until the figure, the number of uh, budget that says support for a uh, private sector quite a lot for inbound, but for outbound, uh, they don't support, okay. We we request it. they help us time to time, but normally they support for uh, domestic and inbound. So for your size, you are inbound. So you better keep contact close to the government and try to ask the government, just walk along together. I think you can hit the target, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, Pa Pao, is that okay. uh, Yes, Pa uh, my uh, Chairman of Asita and Ganteng, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, pa Paul, and thank you also uh, very much, Kun Sutipong. You've been answering the questions of pa Paul. I think it's the same like in Indonesia. Uh, uh, the, those uh, inbound uh, associations will be more supported by the government, but uh, the outbound association uh, maybe not really as far as but we quite understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're correct. Eh? Yeah, okay. So it means that in, Intua uh, must have good relationship with the government, right, to sit uh, more together so that uh, we will be helped when we're doing uh, promotions to bring more tourists uh, from other countries to the destination. Thank you so much, Kun uh, uh, and um, thank you very much uh, to all the, the speakers. Um, uh, the, the Vice Governor of Bali, Pak Chua Achel, who is now represented by Bu Dayunga. Terima kasih, Bu Dayu. Terima kasih, Bu Dayunga. And then, uh, uh, okay, thank you also, uh, uh, Kuniki. Thank you so much, uh, Kapunka. Uh, thank you so much. Kapunka.
Yeah, next time you will invite you again, yeah. Kapunka, next time you will invite you again to be the speaker. Yes, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Pong, as the president of TTAA, once again, congratulations. I hope you can, uh, uh, you can uh, be a good leader, yeah, in Thailand for TTAA. And thank no, you. So, no wonder he, he was elected. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I agree with that. So, also thank you very much. Foto dulu, Pak. Good day, yeah, my colleagues. Foto dulu, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for uh, your uh, good presentation. Uh, I know that you're very experienced with Indonesia destination. And to all uh, my colleagues at Itoa, thank you for your company. And also, thank you very much for all the participants. And I hope next time when we have this kind of uh, I would like you to join yeah, uh, all the participants from other part of Indonesia because I know that there's some coming from Kalimantan, from Sumatra, from Java, from Bali, many other places. So next time we would like you to join in Toa and we'd like you to listen to all our tour of Paris, Tito, Thank you so much, dan terima kasih banyak. I will close this online uh, seminar. Om Santi, Santi, Santi Om. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak. Kapunka. 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 Thank you very much. Kapunka. 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 Kapun